901 on my phone. And everyone's here except for uh, Maureen. And I would like to introduce Rebecca. Anyone who didn't meet her, Ben. Um, okay. She's an interested prospective board member. So she's awesome. joining us. Awesome. This okay. And the approval of the agenda. Is there any comment? That looks good. Way to go, Brittany. Okay, approval of the previous minutes, uh, month's minutes. Are there any corrections to the minutes for February? I have some things for people to consider and then potential change. All right. Um, can we in the. Um, in the, the minutes, we, we don't have any notice of. Um, have moved to approve the minutes, who seconded, and then the, the board unanimously approved us. Oh. So that's something that does need to be in there. Okay. Um, do you need um, to a reminder of who did what action, or do, do you have that and you just pull a little bit later? I don't think I have that. Oh. Yeah, I, I um, <coughs> Okay, so I might have it, but maybe it's your phone. I don't know. I have it. Um, so, okay, so I'm going to let the minutes be approved. Morning seconded. And then everyone. Uh, oh, that I got. Four. Oh, I see. But it, you, um, you see that the, uh, the minutes. Oh, well, the minutes isn't even. Uh, in, yeah, the minutes there. isn't it, um, okay. acknowledged in here, which okay. we need to um, acknowledge so, the approval of the minutes. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. So, I'm sorry, can you tell me yeah. so, I see. A should be that they were So A should be that with the motion. Um, yeah. Moved, moved and seconded and then board unanimous. Okay, so you moved, right? Yes. Morning, seconded. Thank you. And then you saw her. Yes. Thank you. I'm at the Then, oh, the next mention, Cindy, that, pardon me, I'm sorry, that's the Christian's still not here, but she's also absent. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. And so that would probably be the, um, the A. Um, and then the B would be at the what you have listed as A right now, but I think something that's missing that, that helps um, with the flow and understanding how it all came about is, can you just, in front of Maureen and Luke, can you just put that Karen, Karen suggested and Maureen moved to remove from um, the agenda because it really became an agenda item. Okay. Saying, hey, can we just remove the discuss the items from the packet updates because we end up doing that anyway with, okay. when we're getting to the topic, whatever it is and whatever order of business we go. Karen Kay suggested. So we can suggest it to remove the discussed items from the packet updates. Maureen uh, um, moved to remove it, Candy seconded it, and then all. Um, Celebration is scheduled by a PEO member to occur at calendar events. We have candidate in that. So none of the attending members signed up for membership for the board. However, a celebration was scheduled by a PEO member to occur as a result of which celebration are we referring to? Or are you just oh, like it was a meeting? Which one was it? It was a for somebody's what are you talking about? <laughs> somebody at the PEO Founders Day meeting. The, yeah, somebody at the PEO at the Founders Day right? Yeah, had decided to um, to go ahead and, and book something for a special occasion, a celebration, some sort of year. 
I'm not sure if there's, we had a memorial with, that was someone that was involved, but I don't know if that was. Oh, that. yeah. yeah. They, so they're I don't think that's necessary. Well, yeah. we have a PEO group that's moving to have the regular club meetings here. Yeah, that's not it. Okay. Can you mention no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It just was a, it was a coincidence that you happened to mention that. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was born out of that in part because there were questions about how do you, what's the price of booking and then the, but I mean, the amount. She may have been thinking about it all along, and then this just brought it to the forefront, and she asked more questions. Or okay. I don't know. It is fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got out. Okay. And then um, for in your annual report on the second page, rather than approval, it's signature because it, it, the approval was done by the board, um, but the next step being signature by former chairperson. Where is that? Uh, e. What I E1. E1. I, okay. I, or E. Whatever. So it's approved just mm -hmm. signed. Yeah, because the approval happened by the board. Then it was just signed by the board. Just. Right, okay. Do you want to include the word that in, under PM search? Brittany reported that PM search community. The PM sure. search community. And under dates for open houses, I think the very first one we need identified as the spring open house, just as we did the summer open house, okay. because um, we can be consistent with what we're trying to do annually, have a spring, summer, fall, and winter open house. This identifies that. Art walk is one word, by the way, too. Okay. So, you know, um, I think it's all one word. But but double check me. But it is it's uh it's um it's not two words. What was the other thing in the C for the dates of open house? The artwork won't work. But what was the first thing you mentioned? In the first item, then yeah. where it says the next open house is the spring. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, the spring yeah. open house. And then uh, in E under release window balances and drapes. Um, so I suggested that the balances <coughs> covering the leaded glass windows, so not just the one here in the dining room, but all of the leaded glass windows. So Karen, Karen Cruz suggested that the balances covering the leaded glass windows in the Allegheny House and then just take out dining room, remove the dining room because it's all okay. that I was pointing to and saying. Oh, yeah, because I didn't think about the opportunity even upstairs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it was just to, yeah, provide for um, more view of the leaded glass. Okay. Um, okay, in items from the staff, um, under A, Kristen. We need to remove the words have planned to apply for a board position. That's not, that's incorrect. Chris, Kristen previously served um, two terms, two consecutive terms on the board okay. from 2013 through 15 and then 2016 through 18. So, so that needs to be corrected. 2013 through 15 okay. and then 2016 through 18. I guess that should be under items from the board. Under item to the staff, but it was Candy's report, so. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I think that probably under, was an item for the board mm -hmm. thing, but yeah, for some reason it's there. Yeah. I thought she. Yeah, yeah. I thought she had talked to about joining you again, but I maybe I, before maybe she got so sick or something. Okay, no, I have, I miss her. No, okay. she, she, she might be intending to come back. She, she, she did a really nice job during her two terms. Okay. Um, and then. And, and 
couldn't be. I still under items from staff. Was I supposed to send a card to Oh, I did that. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have made that correction. I'm sorry. That's okay. I sent a I sent a card. Okay. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 This is excellent. Oh, yeah. 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 It's excellent work. So. Oh yeah. No. Thanks. This is, this is, all right. Right. This is all. excellent work. I don't at all. Um, and my only last request would be like let's remove the acronym out of the adjournment. Just the meeting adjourned. It's used tab. I know. I know. All other boards but, and commissions, but but. but this is the meeting, the, the meeting adjourned. The meeting adjourned. It, it's listed on the agenda, I guess. So. I mean, mm -hmm. I get where you got that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, yeah, but just, just. Yeah, I don't care. I say, just just take C H A B. Okay. Can we have a motion to approve the minutes as corrected? I so move. A second. Candy and Karen. Thanks. All those in favor? Pearl? Okay. Okay, on to the next item. Um, See, before we get oh, started, I just want to okay. let you know um, there's a, an emergency situation at 8th and Kaufman up the street. Um, so the Memorial Building is has locked their doors right now. Oh. And it is not about down here, but just so you know, they locked the door. Okay, just, great. Oh, Thank okay. you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, Thank you, There's man. No real reason to do so right here. Yeah. But, but why not? Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. They'll let me know if it changes. Okay. Thank you, man. Okay. Uh, the fourth item is public invited to be heard. We actually have a public. <laughs> yeah. Would yeah. 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 you like to yeah. say yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. How did you hear about us? And, and what I, are your uh, Yeah. Um, I'm a Colorado native. I'm grew up in Boulder, mm -hmm. and. Um, we just came back to the area last February because my son and daughter-in-law had a daughter. So I'm here to be with my granddaughter. Nice. And um, I was living in France, so I was 12 years in France and a year in Australia. So it's been kind of, <laughs> it's like a lot of love and a total culture shock. Um, so I've been like rebuilding community and thinking about what's really important to me and what right. I'm really interested in and um, found you guys pretty fast actually in that search. So I've been to a couple open houses, brought my mom oh, nice. um, and my niece and uh, yeah, I've just been, I've, um, I'm an artist, I was an artist in France, site specific work, interior design and um, yeah, I'm just Fun. interested in the history, interested in Loma, interested in meeting people and many right. other things and Great. contributing if if I have something to contribute to. Which is okay. what I'm here to find out. Right, exactly. Okay. Okay. So yes. good to have you. Thank you. you Looks like you came. Came. Thanks. We saw the board recruitment from the constant contact email. Yeah. Oh, that's so that's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. 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 So thank you. So thank you. Yesterday morning, I got it, and then I called cool. you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's I'm so glad. I got it. Got great. Good job. <laughs> Could you give Cindy your, your full your full name? Yeah. yeah. So it's Rebecca R E B E K A H West. Okay. And um, in Boulder, I helped start the dairy. I was the director of Space for Dance. I was the director of, at CU of the Atlas Center for Arts, Media, and Performance. And then I went on world travel, so. Yeah, good for wow. you. Yeah. Wow. So I've done a lot of that. Yes. Brittany's side. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. thanks yes. so much. And you're resident of Lama. I am. <laughs> that's that's important. That's that's important. important. I know what? a lot of really yeah. great people that are just on the barrier outside and uh -huh. they can't. That happened to me. Uh -huh. oh, because yeah. they're just outside the city limits, right? Yeah. Yeah. Five, Five minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Okay. Um, anybody have any questions? All clear. All clear. All clear. So, okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Thanks, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is right. <laughs> yes. Okay. We're moving on to uh, old business. Um, the digitized strapper. Who's talking about? Oh, you're talking. 
Yes. Um, I don't have any updates from the last meeting. Just as a refresher, we had or the original scrapbook. Um, well, One the, the remake, the, the early years, the remake from the 70s, I believe, um, has been digitized. And that's as far as we are right now. I need to go through the process of the rest of that, and then we'll bring everybody on board. But I'm kind of putting that on a back burner until we get the video underway. Um, I'm just like one large project to get a time for the moment. Yeah. yeah, but I think we want to focus on the video. So I'm kind of okay. scrapbooks on back burner, but it's good to, for next steps. Yeah, I think that it's yeah. there and kind of prioritizing yeah. that. So, Super. yeah, so no real update from last month. Which leads us right to item number, it should be B, but it's C, but that's okay. Updated video. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so uh, we, if, as is in the, the back of the packet, um, we have the request for quote ready. I'm still waiting on kind of final input from Pam Roding, who we were working with in the city, um, to kind of guide this process. She had been out of town and just got back last Friday, so I imagine she's catching up. Um, but yeah, just kind of waiting for some final input from her and from you all. And then we've got three vendors lined up um, to send this to, which is uh, Black Sparrow Media, which we've heard from previously, um, Longmont Public Media, and then XSEED, which is spelled X-S-E-E-D, um, Design and Production. And Longmont Public Media and XSEED Design and Production were recommended by members of the city marketing team as a couple other folks to reach out to because we need to yeah, three quotes. Um, yeah, so, and it's actually a little more, a little less involved of a process um, because the budget for this is under 10K. We basically can just request three quotes simply from these companies as long as we're providing them all the same information. So this, um, the very back page of the packet is a compilation of the information that we talked about what we want to see from the video, what information we're going to provide, what questions we have for these groups. Um, so yeah, then I just need input from from you all, um, ideally now at this meeting, uh, so that we can move forward um, with the setting that out. said you're working with? Um, Pam Roding, mm -hmm. R-O-E-D-I-N-G. Okay. And she's, um, I don't know her exact title, but she's... Procurement specialist. There you go. Wow, so, yeah, kind of wow. wow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, so she's she's just been kind of helping guide me through the process. So I was waiting on final input from her, but okay. she was gone before sure. this was due. So this is what I have so far. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course. This, this all looks wonderful. It does. Right. Putting it together, it's, yes. it seems like it's spot. What is the what is the link? The Calhoun House and Garden City of Longmont the overview. Of the materials provided. It's the main page. Just um, on the website. Yeah, okay. so because we have historic information on there, the top and automobile, you know, it's just, it's the website link basically for I all of the information about what we do. And okay. I have not cross checked that with the, the information that the, once we updated the and did the restoration oh, okay. and hand, hand out the docent's guide and the self-guided tour. Okay. Can I take a peek at that? And, Please. And yeah. Email you if I see anything that's oh yeah. that's that's a discrepancy. Yeah, that'd be great. Right. I haven't looked at that. Yeah, um, I haven't thought of that. I assumed that. Uh, I was right, but yeah, I have no you, idea what's on there. Yeah, you could. That would be great. <laughs> I yeah. don't even know who put it on there. So yeah, yeah I'll, I'll check. I think it's a it's a pretty general overview. But if you did. Okay. But a cross right. check would be a good good idea. Yeah, let's make sure we don't have some discrepancies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that'd be great. Good idea. Thanks, Karen. Anything else on the video? I don't have anything. It all looks it great to me. Nice to have all compiled. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's fun. as far as you all are concerned, that's ready to move forward. Mm -hmm. Then okay. Let's see if we get any final notes from Pam, but I imagine it wouldn't be any major. Changes hopefully. Okay. Right. First time doing this process, so. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so then, um, yeah. Once mm -hmm. I hear back from her, then we'll send that out to those groups and and see what we get back and go from there. Great. Sounds perfect. Cool. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the club affair. Candy, that would be you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have the date that we met. Uh, but anyway, we met here, yeah, we met and here. it was, it was on the Thursday. 
So it was Roger Ryan. Ryan. What good team? Good team. Good team. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we're on August 17th. Did they've met? Did y'all met? Yeah. 10.30 and 12.30? February 15th. Yeah. It was the 15th here. Oh, and it was Cindy and Karen and I that were here. Um, And what we did was we took the old um, printout of the list of clubs that we had used at the last club affair and um, kind of divvied those up as to the three of us and the idea was to check with that club and that contact person that was on that list to see if they were still the contact person and if not who would be a good contact person but then as we did get all the way through it and we got it all divided up and realized that before we would actually reach out to these clubs and these groups we need to have the club selection criteria in place um that that would kind of help us to narrow our list down and categorize it and that we shouldn't just jump in and ask anybody and everybody if we don't have that criteria in place. So that's where we finished that day. So is Club Affair, in, are you thinking that it is more for the focus of attracting the clubs? to the house. Twofold purpose. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it more of a, also a community open to any and all clubs um, to be able to um, showcase their club uh, to the public at an open house and be able to um, just use this venue for that purpose. It's a service to the clubs and the community in a way, providing the venue so that they can speak to the public. But then it's also an opportunity for us to share with those who are interested in um, knowing more about the Callahan House and um, the use of, of this venue for the club. Right, but I don't think we should put out a blanket invitation to clubs that, I mean, the club criteria selection has been mentioned previously yes, okay? yes so that says to me that we're looking at clubs and saying yes you qualify to meet here so to speak or you have the qualifications to be a part of this group then we shouldn't extend an invitation to a group that doesn't fall into that criteria especially if there's any space limitations i mean my concern was how many clubs are we going to get well, and the ones that we had been asked to be part of that, it seems like they should be part of the twofold. Well, that, well, yes, and that speaks to the fact that there are a lot of groups that that would help narrow that down. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so the criteria wouldn't be important. Well, I can see where, where it would be important and helpful for any club that is looking for or considering a change of venue, but for a club that meets regularly in town and they already have their venue and they have no interest in changing venue, but they want to um, provide um, information to the public right. about their club. Sure. I thought that was really the the main. Well, but, but it's all this. folded into, it is, it is. I mean, there's like three or four purposes. One, to expose clubs to the fact that they can come meet here. Two, to help the clubs uh, increase their membership. Um, and, and put their um, club out there to the public, so to speak. And three, fundraiser for us. So with all that said, I think because we have said we want to come up with club criteria, I think we need to look at that first and foremost, and then base our list of clubs on that. So you're only going to reach out to clubs that would meet the criteria that we would consider for a club that's interested in using the house? Well, in that invitation, it says, these are the, these are the benefits for you. On that day, you can, you know, promote your club, but please know that there's also an opportunity to meet here at the place, at the Callahan House, and so on. So it's made clear, so if somebody, um, well, if we know who they are and they meet the criteria already, as we think the criteria is, I guess 
that's fine, but um, if if it's not someone who meets the criteria that we think meets the criteria, wants to show their stuff, um, there isn't a separate invitation for that. There's one invitation that says, by the way, you can use our our uh, the Callahan House as a place for your meeting. What about changing the wording a little bit that says clubs that meet the you know clubs that meet the criteria may also be able to use Callahan House as a meeting place. And the only reason I hear what you're saying and it makes yeah. sense. The only reason I'm thinking is because you were talking about inviting like artists and dance groups and things like that to promote the event and make that more attractive for the public to attend. But those aren't necessarily people that are going to meet in the house, maybe that we would want to just due to the nature of, <laughs> you know, their activities and right. right. mm -hmm. yeah. aggressive for the space. Or the number of people yeah. in their group. Um, I mean, the criteria, we can't look at that criteria as being so limited. You have to yeah. look at it as positive, okay? So that the criteria says, Anybody and everybody basically is welcome, yeah. but again, you can't come and set up your yoga mats in the music room, or you can't make it clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got that bad example. Yeah. Yeah. You can't come do your ballet or whatever. Yeah. You know? yeah. But so so those that criteria is broad enough. We have to have that in place first, I think, before we start inviting clubs to become a part of our meeting place. Right. But yeah. hey, yeah. that's all but I'm I saying. But I didn't like what Brittany was saying. I don't know that it's, okay. Oh, so <clears throat> we are not excluding any club that wants to um, have a presentation at Club Affair for their club, right? We're not excluding them. I think what where we to, were going to have them at the club affair event. Is, correct. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we're not. That's we're it. not excluding them. We're talking about a club affair event. Right. For them to be able to come. Right. So we have to have a starting point to know how many we can invite. Correct. And be selective about our invitations because we can't invite everybody. Every club. There's not room in the house for everybody. That that list is huge. It's mm -hmm. two pages. I guess the question is how quickly can the the club selection criteria be in place and does that fit with the timeline of your plans needing to move forward with club affair? So mm -hmm. I think, you know, this can be in place in a timely manner. If it, we're gonna do a fits. club criteria, we've got to have that in place. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before, before oh, yeah. we say this is club affair. When when is the ideal time to send out an invitation for that August event? Probably not so Jewish. That's why we think Jewish. Mm -hmm. You're going to invite clubs to in June to have an, a, a table set up in August. Well, they need to have a chance to Jews, in receive June. the invitation, consider it at, at meetings or whatever. So well, that's in July, and then the next month is August. So. Something else to consider is a lot of clubs don't meet during the summer, yeah. right. so we may have to send it out even earlier. You that's think it needs it out earlier? Yes. Mm -hmm. So earlier than June, you think? May. May? May might be. May might be even. I would say the students are going to be tough. The students are going to make it by April, but. That's not going to happen. <laughs> so, shoot so that means May. the criteria needs to be in place before May. Yeah. yeah. So the criteria needs to be done by next, you know, sometime by next month meeting. so that the yeah. invitation is ready to go out. So, so Karen, you're, okay. you're the one that brought up the criteria. So in your head, you've got some idea about what that criteria looks like. Right? Yes. Okay. So I think it's time to share it with the rest of us, either at a, a separate meeting or whatever. But I, I, I just feel like if we're going to move forward and invite clubs to be a part of our group or whatever it looks like, if we're going to contact clubs to be part of our fundraiser or expose their information to the public or whatever, we need to know what that criteria is. Absolutely. Okay, that's um, all we want to do. When you when you gave the three um, reasons to have Club Affair, I saw it in a different um, order. And, and here's, here's why. Um, going based off of why Club Affair was held in the past, 
which was have a venue for clubs in the community to showcase their club and um, um, potentially gain new members. And it was a fundraiser for the house. Those were the reasons, those were only two reasons Club Affair was done in the past years. The first reason was fundraiser. fundraiser. Those were the only two reasons though. It was not a matter of recruiting clubs to use this venue as a regular meeting place. I think that was always but that was never that was never part of that. You see, it was just more of a community service and an outreach to support community clubs or clubs within the community to provide them an opportunity to reach out to all of the members of the community to try and kind of explain what their club is about, when they meet, why they meet, what they do. And it was not so that they would be focused on having their meetings here at the house on a regular basis. I think like those are all good. So they're all, they're they're all good the reasons. Event. But what I'm trying to say is, you can, you can continue place. to. Yes, we'll get going on that. And that, that, if if you'll give me a second, at the last meeting we did say, okay, I'll I'll leave that. And at the next meeting we're going to schedule a task meeting. So at the next board meeting we were going to right. look at calendar right. and schedule a task meeting. So it's we're on it. We're doing that. Means right. today we're scheduling a task meeting. So. So, but I don't know that, I don't know that you want to hold off on continuing your work with Club oh, Affair. No, oh, no. Uh, but I'm just saying we're not just that up. up. But we didn't contact anybody. Right. Which but is things gonna, we're set up to do so. But you're not going to limit invitation to no. this event. Right. I mean, we're not, again, we're not excluding any club that's in the community. We're inviting any and all clubs in the community to have their table here at the club affair to share with the community, right? We can't invite any and all because we are limited in space. Yes. So the therefore we have to have a criteria to start right. with so we can, it'll help us narrow down um, the list that we have. So you're saying we're limited in space. The event is supposed to happen in August. Mm -hmm. um, isn't it indoor and outdoor? I suggested that. It never has been outdoor. So I suggested that possibility. So are we really that limited in space? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Well, you know just, if, I just want to make sure that we're not, that's, we're not being exclusive. If that's okay. the I was like, case, we can't exclude anyone. No, we're not being exclusive. If that's the case, prior, then our prioritizing. criteria would be if there's room, you know, or based on when you, right. Okay. And, and maybe it becomes an announcement to the community then not just an invitation we send out to certain people. Yeah, well, that's, that's going to be a real sure. And the yeah. thought behind that is more of inviting the public to come to the event. Right. But there exactly. is a, there's well, a little I mean, like one early summer. on would be and to tell people there's the opportunity to promote your club. Yes. yes. And again, like any event here, especially the Women's Preservation um, event, Reservations are limited, so you can put the invitation out there right, exactly. and just state that space is limited. And that's how it's then, been in the past. And then you don't have to worry that we won't be able to take everyone yeah. under the sun because it's already known that space is limited. You may, well, depending on when you're getting your um, or the club is getting their request in to be a part of this event, they may or may not be able to because the space is already taken by that time. Well there is a there was always a cutoff date and you had to put a down payment or, or you had to pass it down, so to speak, for your table. Right. Yeah. So anyway, but I guess we never had that criteria in place before, so to recognize the fact that you would have wanted that in place, that was why we held off back to actual on that meeting okay. to be in place. Okay. okay. But it's only for clubs that would be interested in holding their regular meetings for that club criteria. That's all that right. Is. So that, right. I mean, they have to know that. Or, or they don't. Maybe, party, they, but maybe they don't want to be meeting here. Well, maybe, so not, just, maybe not. They, they got they their venue that out. and then they just want to recruit more members of the community. That's the point of the but, you know, community it might, service. It might outreach. come up because how could we not it, talk about it when they're here? Yes, right? I, and that's exactly it. By the time, of course, 
that would be in place and done. Mm-hmm. If somebody, if they were holding, hosting, you know, at the event, they're like, yeah. yes, I would love to, you know, we would really be interested in having our meetings here going forward. And yeah. then at that point, absolutely, that criteria is done. It is, it is and then yes. it's like, okay, here are the criteria, and who, you know, here, here's the application. Go ahead and apply. Yeah. And we know, we know that what that criteria is, and. In just just because they're applying for or asking to meet here doesn't guarantee them that they will. And, and, that's and they, that, then that's what the criteria is meant, meant and for. And then the announcement goes out to everybody, and people might wonder, well, what's the connection between Callahan House and clubs in the community? Um, it's it's about promoting uh, community outreach and you know the the. Whatever it is, the or, um, organizations forming in the community to have a voice and all that stuff that would be promoting that. Okay, we're kind of getting off track here a little bit and getting too deep into the weeds. Um, can we uh, table what we're talking about, the, the club affair itself, and come back to it if we need to revisit? And we can jump down to club selection criteria if you want, or we can finish going through the agenda, but. We're, we're stirring up the mud. Well, perhaps might I suggest that Club Affair continue to have a task meeting based yes, on what yes, we are. Oh, absolutely, we are. We have okay, not I just didn't know. No, no. Um, but as long as that go, continues and then it's, it's ready for report at, ne- at next board meeting, sounds yeah, good. We're because still working. Yeah, that was very much. Yeah, what I was yeah. going to throw out here was a couple of dates that okay. might work. Oh, great. Um, next Wednesday. Here in the house, if that's available, um, or Thursday. Clubs are here on Wednesdays, so Thursday would probably. Well, we'll have to see. I'm out of office on Thursday, so we'll have to okay. see if somebody could let you in by chance. Or... Well, or we could look at the last week in March. Twenty seventh or twenty eighth. 27th is clubs, it's a Wednesday. Right, okay. 28th, uh, 28th is good. 28th is good. Okay. 28th, 10 o'clock. Um, Does that work? Oh, you've got your 10 30. I'll say till 10 30. 10 30? Yeah, yeah cool. that's 10 30. Or is the afternoon there? Yep, 10 30 is fine. Okay. It doesn't work for me. Oh, no. that, okay. that date, no. that Thursday? No. No, later in the day would work. I can do later. The whole day is open. As far as the house well, goes, so. You know what? Maybe I can move this. I'll try to move this. Well, if later in the day. Yeah, if later in the day works. Okay. It's me, it's one time? o'clock. See? One o'clock work. One o'clock works, yeah. Okay. One o'clock, a couple hours. Uh, yeah. One to three? Yep. Sounds if you'll be sending an invite right away, then I won't put it in my calendar now. Sure. I can send it. Okay. Okay. And that, that was open to anybody that wanted to attend, I believe. Or was it it's just a committee meeting? Yeah, it's, it's just a more yeah. task meeting. So anybody, anybody. anybody. Uh-huh. So anybody, anybody. Yeah. yeah, anybody so to everybody. Everybody. We'll be at the house at ten thirty or at one o'clock. I'm sorry, on the Thursday at the twenty eighth. Okay. Okay. I don't reiterate. I'll show up at ten thirty. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> okay. Is that it on the club affair, please? Yes. Please. Okay, um, annual report. Did that get signed? <laughs> yes, and signed it. Signed it. Um, and decided to. Jeff, Jeff had the idea um, and requested that we run it through our communication folks just to take a look at form and format and um, see if there's any suggestions they may have. Um, I don't think that the we won't change any of the information, certainly, we're not having to come back here. Right. But yeah. Friesner. Friesner. And he is. He's the director for recreation and culture. Okay. And so uh, we pushed back one meeting, right? For the well, it's April 9th. Back, right, April 9th. Yeah. Tuesday, and okay. that was it. They may not have anything to say on it. And I think it's a really good idea. Next time we'll put it in the pre process and we'll do post. And obviously, we're not going to change anything because then it's a signed document by you guys. So yeah. We're not going to alter anything um, unless they have some really good suggestions. Then we'll come back. 
I was going to say, yeah. any kind yeah. of change whatsoever, if they're suggesting it, does need to come back to us because it's yeah. our communication as our, as this board to City Council. Yeah. And it doesn't, and, and, yeah. Yeah, if there's, yeah, if there's, if there's anything concerning actual content or anything like that, we'll, we'll let us know. So yeah. we'll okay. we wish exactly. specifically for the board to review the board of City communication team. Okay. Yeah, we'll put that as a part of the process. It's a good, really good idea, but we'll, we'll do that, you know, in, in January or February. Yeah. Or, you know, the so it's scheduled for the April 9th council meeting. Um, it's an informational item only, so they're not going to discuss it at the meeting. So no one is asked to be present. Of course, if anybody wants to attend, those are always open to the public. So, but um, yeah, we're not necessarily planning to have Anne arrive attend my meeting, but if anybody wants to, certainly can. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the house inventory, which I completely forgot about. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> it was <laughs> a very <laughs> quick kind of follow up that day, but yeah, that's um, basically complete. We have a couple things that Betsy and um, Jacqueline are still working on, you know, Butler's Pantry, we're kind of doing an updated okay. process for that so that it's easier to find things moving forward and whatnot, okay. um, you know, listing things by which cabinet it's in instead of just kind of an open free for all. But basically the inventory is complete, so thank you all so much for your help with that. That's huge. Um, and then we'll plan that again for another two years and, well, found the uh, missing uh, Painting by no. and youth. Well, okay, so this is a funny silly oh, story. It's um, missing some. Well, it wasn't really missing. Oh, okay. And found was no, a strong okay. word. So, missed <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, previously, we I, weren't sure. Overlooked. I donated yeah. both pictures. Yeah, we weren't sure of the exact name of the artist um, until Karen found it out from EDK the week before last. And then I put the name in my list to look for it when I had time. Um, and then about a week later, it was came up in my calendar, and I was like, "Oh, that name." I was like, "Okay." It's not, anyway, it's, it's it's hanging in the office. Oh, oh it's been there. Oh, <laughs> so yes. what's the name? No, it's M. Buth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it Tori Buth? B -E -U -T -H -E. Yeah. B e u t h e. Yeah. Um, anyway, it was here the whole time. We just didn't know the specific artist's name. We didn't know enough about it until recently. So we yeah. didn't know that it was that one. We didn't know we had it. Yeah. So anyway. hiding in plain sight. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, you, you're forgiven because well, there wasn't much description and it was no. a different artist. Yeah. Yeah. Donated by somebody's mother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. it's B U E U T H E, I think. Okay. Uh, but anyhow, it's been in office the whole time. So. That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I love it. So, That's great. Anyhow, I mean, which is good news because yeah. we were concerned about it, but yes. it turns out no yeah. cause for concern. <laughs> so, anyhow, so along those lines, yeah. um, there was a garage sale. I, I'm, I'm sure you've run across the that. Yeah. 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 So some of the stuff that was in the basement at yeah. some point in time was sold in a garage sale. Here. Oh, wow. Was that somebody, a friend of mine, helped me mention that they bought, that, oh, I know what it was. Rick Jennings says, we bought a mangle. There was a you know, the ironing mangle oh, thing yeah. that comes down to the ironing right. sheets oh, and stuff. Right. That was part of the garage sale. Oh. That, that came out of this wow. house. Wow. Oh, I'd forgotten all about that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's wow. how would, Interesting. That moving forward, but at least somebody's oh, appreciated that, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll remove this for next month, but thank okay. you everybody for doing that, and then thank we'll you. follow up again. And it looks like we've been doing them every two years. So. Perfect. Cool. Could you be able to provide everyone uh, the final list? list? Yeah. yeah, that'll be a little while out before it actually gets uh, yeah. all yeah. the information put in and digitized, but yes, it's a big spreadsheet. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the piano search. Um, well, I don't know if there's any updates. I don't, I don't think there's any. No, there. I even when I see something that's a possibility, I think you said that, what's his name again? Um, Fred Goheen. Fred is looking on he's, there too. Yeah, he's looking for one. Yes. And he's looking for one, as we've since learned, that is already fully restored is the direction that we want to go in. Um, right, he's looking for yeah. one. Yeah, I say so. That one. Looking ah, for one, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm wondering if we should keep this as an agenda item or just bring it up as 
potential options come I up. Think it's really like potential yeah, I think we bring that potential options because it's not a critical issue. Yeah, it's, it's not something we're right. right. really yeah. pursuing. Yeah. It's just a matter of we're, we're, we're ready. Our, we're we're ready. ready. Yeah. Yeah. We know what our criteria are for if that pops up. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Next mem uh, item of discussion: Callahan House membership program. Yeah, and I'm thinking now I should have included that in the packet, but the idea was that everybody took home the last packet and wanted to follow up with that uh, this month if there were any input changes, whatever, or I don't know if we want to table it for next month. Well, I have at least one thing that maybe we can act on today. Okay. Um, and, and the framework does look very nice. I know that um, the big thing was we were supposed to avoid using friends. Right. Um, and so what, what should we name it? So I was looking through some, some options and the one that just seemed spot on was patrons. Patrons of the Callahan House. Oh, oh yeah. that's I nice. kind of like that. Yeah, because a, a patron is a group, a person or group that supports an activity or organization, especially by giving money. It's also known as a supporter or donor, a guardian or special protector of a person, place, or profession. And then um, it's got some really cool historic um, root to, mm -hmm. to the word. The earliest right. known use of the noun patron is in the Middle English period from 1150 to 1300. And um, the earliest evidence for patron is um, usually found around 1300 in life and art on the Thomas Beckett. Just some fun and history. It kind of fits the, kind of fits the history of yes, yeah. patrons. It's just yeah. it's, it's so, a little more it's eloquent. It is eloquent. It's eloquent. Yeah. And so I, I thought, you know, at the very least, maybe we could uh, consider that name. Yeah, that's I like it. Yeah, it's something worth just sounds considering for sure. Patrons of the Catholic okay. That's gonna be hard to beat. You can put that in as so working, working, working title. Working title, yeah. Yeah, working title. Great. Right. But let's, shall we table the rest of it? Oh, yeah, I think okay. it's fine to yeah. table the rest of it. And maybe come back to, to this issue. next year. Yeah. yeah. But um, at least, you know, that's that's the name we can be All right. Patrons of the calendar. Okay. For, uh, if we table it for April, do we, does this need to be included in the packet? Yes. Okay. So I think I, I keep mine, but I, I bring yeah, it back in, in my book. But it, it, I think it's helpful for people yeah. to just kind of have it right in the packet. Sounds yeah. good. Any other comments on that? Okay, let's move on to the auto house revamp. Um, so I met with Kevin Murray, who is the contractor for Empire, who did the restoration work at Calhan this summer, um, to see about a storage unit. A, a period appropriate storage unit within the auto house to house the new tables and chairs. Um, and his idea was to, or his, his thought is that um, the, the, the small unit that's like back in the kitchenette bathroom area is probably original to the building based on hardware. It also matches the like sort of under stair, I want to call it a Harry Potter closet. Um, under stair closet in the basement um, in terms of the look and the hardware and the wood panels used and whatnot so that that's likely an original um, cabinet so emulating that um, to build the storage for the tables and chairs in that sort of just open space in our house is the first idea I guess um, so he's working on he came and took some measurements and whatnot and is working on a nice. quote for that um, the other thought about it is potentially removing the existing cabinetry, which is not original to the space. Um, it's not really period appropriate and also doesn't really serve a whole lot of helpful function for us. Um, so basically, potentially replacing that with something that is period appropriate, shows a little bit of a more of the history of the space and is more functional um, for our purposes. So that's my moment. Will he have some potential drawing or Certainly. proposals for next month's meeting? Unlikely. Uh, Unlikely. Uh, say. Yes. Just based on <laughs> <I'm sure laughs> it. Karen. I just, he, he he does say, in, no, the, for sure. The, so he did say that they're very busy, and since this isn't necessarily a priority mm -hmm. situation, I, I'm hoping that it maybe could be rolling by the end of summer. Okay. <laughs> like, that just gives us an idea. Yeah. On, 
Yeah. It's, so on, it is, so, it's, it's in process. Yeah, but he was... At his own pace. That's fine. Yes, yeah. very okay. much so. So oh, I'll have fine. to stay on it. But he was, you know, excited about the project. Felt like it was a good, you know, good. fit for us. And right. So... Yeah, so if he's interested, it'll... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. eventually. Great. So. <laughs> okay, yeah. great. That's, um, that's fun. And along those lines, it's, it's not directly related to the auto house, but he's also working on a quote, um, or finding someone that can help us to restore the dining room set. Um, the table underneath needs some repair work that, you know, needs re-leathered and yes. set, you know. Um, and there are two chapters of questers that are interested in donating to mm -hmm. this specific project. Wonderful. Um, yeah, I think that was, yeah, he was here the other day kind of looking at some some things. Yeah. So, yeah, some upcoming ideas for other potential preservation projects um, with a new grant, you know. Did you say he so. would be looking um, to, to see if uh, some other vendor would Some, do yeah, they don't do furniture restoration, but because of his connections, you know, okay. in the restoration preservation world, he's kind of helping to find some potential vendors that would be good for that. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, he's got connections. He does. Yeah. yeah. So, and then they're still kind of finishing up some, you know, the wall in here got finished, um, the ceiling here, they're still working on some of the upstairs items, the, 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 um, the light and the wall, or whatever they call it. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, repair to the wall, the hallway walls. So okay. that stuff's still kind of ongoing, but right, just a general update okay. on all that. I have a question then. Mm -hmm. So about the, the idea of moving forward, purchasing tables and chairs and things, is that on hold until we have that space available to put those tables here? and chairs are fine. That's finalized. Where are they being? <laughs> so they're in there. Oh, they're yeah. there. Okay. They're there. <laughs> okay. They're here. They're there. Okay. So, yeah, house. and for now, there's yeah. luckily that space. So they all have come on dollies, um, and luckily there's actually that big space in there right now because I kind of cleared some things around, um, and they have those good shades. So that's the plan until right. he does that. And luckily, you know, it's really only ever used as the groom's cottage, right. and everybody that I've brought to tour that space is like, yeah, they're okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they're kind of safe. Yeah, we'll make it look, you know, the way that it needs to look to be appropriate. Well, it's, it's, uh, just, yeah. just was a curious but Yeah, I uh, so pulled the trigger on that. So. Okay. okay, great. All right, good for you. Good Moving job. on. Good job. Moving on. And we did talk to, um, I got information from catering, from our rentals company, and just people within the industry to suggest what the proper products were to get. So I feel really good about what we got in. Excellent. Good, good, good. Good job, Brittany. Thanks. Yeah. Will help us get a lot more return on yeah. weddings and events. So. Right, exactly. Excellent. Okay, uh, now we can talk about the club selection criteria. Okay, so since you all now have another club affair meeting, do you want this task meeting? Well, it won't be able to happen before your next club affair meeting. Um, anyway, it's okay because we, we just now need to schedule a task meeting which is what we, we said we, last month we would do in this month's meeting, is schedule that task meeting. Who would like to participate in that? Um, okay. Oh, oh, do we have and Cindy? Well, then it's Cindy. Um, okay. And uh, I think Maureen... I think she was interested. Said she yes. was interested, too. Um, uh, I have an idea about her calendar, but let's do the best we can um, with we have to that table right now. Um, I'm thinking, actually, your next meeting is going to be the 28th. Correct. Ah, it can happen before then. Um, yeah. And so, how about Yeah, that's pretty much the only day that the house is, unless it's the fifth Wednesday of the month, in the months that that exists. Um, <laughs> otherwise, it's, it's a use most of the day on Wednesdays. Okay. Well, then, how about we look at, uh, uh, is it possible for people to meet on, on Friday the 22nd? 
And I'm, I'm not about this, so the house won't be, but y'all can be elsewhere. Thursday, Thursday the 21st, is that? I'm available. I'm, yeah, I'm not about this the 21st and 22nd. Okay. So, again, I mean, if you want to be somewhere else, you're so welcome to, but nobody's going to be here at the house. No, so, so, so then the 19th is, are you here? The 19th is here, let me just look at, uh, yeah, 19th is good. Good for me too. And are we more interested in morning or afternoon? Either. Actually, the house is open all day, so. Late morning on the 12th. Late morning, like 10? 10. Is yes. That, is that late morning? No. Okay. So, can we have some works? All right. We'll make it work. All right, then. Two, yeah, next Tuesday, we're going to do 10 here. Okay. I'll send an invite for 10 to noon ish. Yes. Obviously, okay. it goes longer this time. And this is the club selection criteria, criteria. committee. Yeah. Okay. And I'll send that out to everybody. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Everyone yes. is in there. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along, um, the oven safety check. What did they have to? They say for we did stuff? get someone in for that. Right. Um, the manufacturer sent out. Uh, right, someone to check that, and and all is clear, and, and all is well. Um, we also had Excel come back out and give the direct oven a check, also. So it's been approved by several different people that it is all up to stuff. So yeah. The hood is clean. Yep, as well. Yep, and the hood um, maintenance of the hood has been added to an annual the annual maintenance That's list. That's perfect. perfect. So, well, the biggest yeah. issue was with that. Yeah. And then so. one last question, did we get a, a second fire extinguisher? Just um, Well, we did not, but we can yeah. talk to the safety committee. They're actually meeting here in April, I think. Um, um, I mean, six open flames and the historic home is a little it's unsettling just like to me. But if, if this is what we've got to deal with, then let's just, right. just be prepared as much as we can be. In. If that means right. a second fire extinguisher, that's not too much to ask. Yeah, we can. I'll talk to the safety committee about that. Big box of baking soda. Yeah. <laughs> anything. Yeah. Yeah. Can do. Okay. Any other questions on that item? Moving on to the lace window balances and the library drapes. Yeah. Can we get rid of um, So I know we were being yeah, waiting to take those off, but I do have really some information good. about it. But the reason that I went ahead and took them down is because we had um, Long Up Public Media was here last week shooting a some scenes for a virtual venue tour. Um, so this is completely separate from the updated video project. This is the idea of this is a, a venue tour. Um, for those that are looking to get married or, or host an event here. So separate right. from that project, but right. um, they're able to move forward quick, quickly with that. And so I took them down because they were shooting video Good every house. You. Yes, um, it's, it's nice excellent. To, it yeah, I mean, it looks great. great. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's so nice to be able to see that beauty from yeah. inside the yeah. house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it, it aesthetically it's great. Um, I also did talk to Kevin from Empire about I also talked to the Historic Preservation Committee um, Commission and and McCleave from District Colorado. Thank you. Uh, suggestions about what to do for UV protection of the interior of the home, exactly. and the general consensus was a film on the storm windows. Yes. Um, so Kevin is looking for someone to do that for us. I guess I most company. Uh, right. Because I have it done on the windows. That would home. be wonderful if you could send me that information. Yes. Um, his glass person, historic restoration glass person, actually suggested um, like a, an auto company. Oh, no, there's, which, a, there's a professional company that does just yeah, great. Windows. Okay. Yeah, if you could send me that down. I would be fantastic because um, Kevin is looking, but that could take some time right. and instead we're making more money. putting the balances back up if you have right. a company that would be great to just I think move forward with that and we want to make sure to get you know a clear film that lasts well and, and right you know sorry I, I missed the uh, part about what the function does is it for glare or privacy UV protection, UV um, protection for, for the interior of the home okay. so yeah that would be great because 
it's a basic googling i was like yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. okay and how about the drapes perfect um i didn't do anything with those okay. i didn't know can we talk about that a little bit yeah i think what i wanted because, to get the consensus yeah. about those because while i don't i don't think it would be a good idea to completely remove them i think reducing them is a good idea so that they're more decorative it is so that yes they're, they're more decorative kind of like something like what you would see in a, in a movie theater back in the day when they would put those beautiful balances up that just kind of framed mm -hmm. the screen i think that would be appropriate rather than completely removal let's just reduce them so you can the so ones in the ones. Ones. they're the heavy ones in the library in the I mean, we, can walk in, we can walk in there using the existing yeah, look, fabric and Yes, like, you just use exactly what's already there. Okay. Just reduce, reduce the size and and, and, I, and, I, and I can, can ask you, you, uh, you know, huh, Leslie? What yes, and I can. Add, I was just going to say, I can ask if if I can ask Leslie if she would be willing to help us in that process. I think that she would probably appreciate that if, if she would. If that's okay with us, mm -hmm. Leslie, because Leslie Boynton was the house the manager, manager for us. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. and for. for Many years, for eleven years, and so, and she did a lot of work in in, um, in the house. And one of the big projects she did was she made those drapes. Those drapes. Oh. And they're they're and wonderful. They're, they're very wonderful. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. They're very They're beautiful. Everything, but excellent fabric. But there's a lot. But I <laughs> yes. So if it's okay, I'd like to reach out to her and ask her. And just she be willing to help us guys from her. her. Now that yes. the windows are restored, we'd like to show it more. Yes, we'd like to show it more. Would you be willing to do that? Yes. All right. Because I have, yeah, I have yeah. a yeah. friendship with relationship. her. Yeah. Yes. Right. She, and she would appreciate that rather than us just do, doing it. Yes. Yeah. Which I think is like the right thing to do. Okay. Anything else on old business? Any of those items? Are we good? And we're moving to new business. Future restoration and preservation. So I think our objective is that we're going to look at the list and identify the um, items that we would like done One. sooner rather than yeah. later. And, mm -hmm. and some might already be in the works, such as the tap wing. Oh. Look, it's the big. Well, oh, um, that's the big item. The, but I'm not talking about. Yeah. That's Along with the big item, which is already a done thing, yeah. because you submitted, you have submitted it for the oh, um, for, like, for CIP. Okay, so it's um, CIP is um, the capital uh, improvement program projects and through the city of Longmont, and so for us to have funding from the city um, for any project, um, that has to be submitted to the city, and the city decides how they're going to allocate their funding for capital improvement projects. So what is, this, is currently submitted, and and it's due every October for the next year, is that right, to the city? In the next month. Oh, it's due, okay, so in yeah, April, they, have to submit we submit those. for 2025. It's, it's April 20th or so, I have to put them all into the system, something like that. Okay. By end of April, so if you have, so, so the bottom line right now, is if there are things that and, and these are larger projects so these are you know capital projects yeah certainly over ten thousand dollars that would even be pretty low but these are things we're looking at that would be <clears throat> really more fifty thousand dollar plus sorts of things um and exceptions you know I, it just depends on, on the thing then i can put them in um with the idea frankly that we know they won't be approved year one or year two, but if they're in there, and so as things become more pressing, they've already been in there, they've already been seen, it's easier. And this is just how it works. It generally will take a number of years to get a project through. And the next big one that we know this house needs is the, the pointing of the mortar so, of the house. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just need, you know, ideas that are, you know, small projects. We, Really find a way to pay for this, mm -hmm. like the ones you're just talking about. But, yeah. Right. So yeah, bigger, bigger ideas, um, and then we've also talked about the fact of having those within the city aid us in the quest for grants. Yes, because the, the, if, if we have them, and 
already submitted, then those are things we can put in grant requests. Right. That say we have already requested this, so the city yes. did not have funding. Yeah, did not have funding. It's, it's, it's part of that process because it shows, it proves that we've been trying to accomplish the goal. Exactly. And that's why yeah. we need yeah. the assistance. <laughs> yeah. So did, I don't know, did everyone bring your list? I think another thing that would be helpful to have yeah. the packet going forward. I mean, everyone has, them, has it from when the annual report was presented back in um, January. Um, so, but it is a um, single page, yeah, it is a single page list. Don't remember things like that yep. that we keep um, and I think this is the most accurate the most up to date one right that you put yeah, in the January report yeah. yeah and so um, I think just coming up with all right re repointing the house was the big budget item I don't know what amount you submitted and I don't know how you got that amount um, that was from Kathy and we updated it add money to it every year because it's because it's, 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 it's in the two hundred thousand dollar range. Can we get a general idea from say the the kind of the contractor who did all the restoration work recently? Have them just kind of take a peek and give us an updated ballpark. You might have even said that our number was you thought the number was reasonable, but okay. check back awesome. I feel like that conversation actually may have happened a year ago. But and when he was just here, he was kind of looking at some of the details again, yeah. so he probably has that fresh. Yeah. Are you yeah. saying so. for the point? Yes. Yeah, for, for repointing the, the house and the auto house, the, yeah, that mortar, it, um, it just, uh, where, where it needs to be replaced. It's very expensive. Yes, it is. But to have it as it's accurate and current uh, estimate as possible would be the most helpful. Um, so that would be the big ticket item that we would submit to the city. Did you say 200k then was the last I don't week? remember, yeah. so don't quote I, I was going to say, it's around, it's around that. Okay. Did you say, um, besides the auto house, it's the border of this house, or it's it, the house? It's the border. So, so it's, it's all the, the border in the brick. The, right, but I mean on the house. Yeah, yeah. 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 anywhere where you see the brick, the yeah. exterior, okay. the mortar. The mortar. Yep, I know yeah. what that means. Yeah. 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 So when you said mortar before I heard mortar. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mortar. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what is your so so then that's our submission for CIP. That that's going in no matter what. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll leave so it. So if there's something else we want, is there anything else we want to put in? I mean sometimes I'll get a yes put it in and sometimes I'll get a no don't bother sort of thing. But is there anything else that we want to put in? At this time, and we can, we could have that idea by the next meeting. Okay. So, so we have a little bit of time on that. Um, it's very easy to add something to those sorts of lists. It doesn't get real complicated. The, the explanation is very simple. So. And are you saying in, anything under fifty thousand? We should that, that's a, not submit. Probably to not. But if it's forty five thousand, then okay. Yeah. At least let me. At least let me. Send Give it a the, try. Send up the flagpole. Yeah, I mean, you never know. They might yeah. find something smaller because um, that's the extra what, change they've got. And then we have another right. one of our other opportunities is in ongoing maintenance, and we, we decide on those dollars five years in advance. Uh, it's another fund, and those projects can be the one thousand to to twenty thousand, uh, thirty thousand dollars sort of range. And we look at those for five years in advance. However, there's some flexibility in those dollars as the city recognizes that deciding on that we need to replace this treadmill five years from now, it, sometimes it's not that treadmill, sometimes it's this treadmill, or sometimes mm -hmm. it's this elliptical. So they recognize, so we are actually able to move those dollars around, and sometimes we can move things up in lieu of some other things. So there's other there are other opportunities. So if there's something we want to put in, then now is the time to um, decide what we want to show. That would be for what twenty twenty nine is what we're going to be deciding. And that I need in the next month. Yes. Like the, like 
stained glass and the project on the stairway. The Might just pay for it. Okay. Oh, we yeah, have some money now. So yeah. That's for happen. stuff like that. Yeah, okay. For those smaller things. I want to move forward with those because yeah. they're things we've already been thinking about. Okay. And they're in the they're in the five thousand dollar range. We have okay. some money right now for projects. Well, we don't have as money for staff, but that's not <laughs> 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 <So, laughs> <laughs> Isn't it always okay. the case? <laughs> well the only thing I can think of just off the top of my head is the landscaping issue. Yeah. But that's We're working on grass. That one I'm Making Are happen. Okay. So if there's other, we feel like there's a year to year thing for that. Um, okay. And that's not our budget either. Okay. So it's if we're talking parks, about, yeah, so parks, if we're talking yeah. about, parks, if we were restoring the statue, that would be one thing. Yeah. Right. But as far as the, the upkeep and how we do that and how we go about that, that's really more about parks and we're trying okay. to work with them. And I've also got golf involved as far as the grass because right. right. I can't. Right, so. <laughs> I can. Okay, good. So, so the yeah, so it's really. Uh, is like that Ben is working on is. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I thought we had a good meeting, so. Yeah. You know, but but that would be thing. separate from well, this idea. Th well, there's there's restoration and there's restoration. So if you're talking about just kind of making sure the mechanicals are really done and stuff like that, I would say that's that. Yeah. If we're talking about refurbishing or the possibly cement. replacing it or something like that, then that would be. That would be something that we would we would do or work very closely with them. So okay. and, and that's not what we're talking about. So that's just an example. Okay. In doing the inventory, there was a picture that showed the Callion House with green striped awnings on the outside. That's when we were talking about the UV um, effect on the interior of the house. That thought kind of popped into our minds that at some point maybe Restoration with the awnings might be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. so. Were they cloth based? I assume they were canvas. Were canvas no. Is, like the we are here. reluctant oh. to put canvas things up in general because of the maintenance, because of the, the issues we've had with them. So I'll just tell you that. I'm not saying no. Just well, I mean, yeah, sure. it could be a different This is a different so. setting, but I just want to let you know that, that that's yeah. something that. It just popped up in my head that we saw that. Because of their struggle. Yeah. So not necessarily canvas, but just any kind of cloth. Yeah, yeah. The city is reluctant to anything do that's doing a, a cloth because that's of the not, maintenance. Anything that's not permanent. The metal one out back. I don't know if maybe they were. No, I've seen metal Metal. Metal. That was that. Maybe a tour going on? A little something. I was going to ask about like the gazebo, like too. Is that in good shape? Or is that easy? As far as I know. It's a good shape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there anything else on there you're seeing that sticks out to you? I think. Oh, this to uh, our I think the only thing that might have been a bigger ticket item was getting electricity to the um, gazebo because mm -hmm. during, which is a bigger ticket item. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that would be. Um, because right now it's a matter of. of String uh, extension cords out in the property okay. to light it up, which is oh, really not oh, this great. This electricity to the outside area. That wouldn't so be a capital, but that would be a CBF item. So, yeah. Um, okay. Because you know, okay. Yeah. Just yeah, that would. Can you get a talk to Bros about that? Bros Electric. Okay. And let's get a cost on that. That might be one. That's, that's that sounds like a prime one for on. the other fund. Okay. Are you talking about right. electricity into the same okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. It would have been great to have done it in conjunction with the Oh, no. oh we did not get that. We did not get that. Yeah. The headspace wasn't yeah. Yeah. the first time we would be the last. <laughs> <out. laughs> um, but any other big, what else on this list is a, is a really big ticket item I, I, uh, that is like a 45000 up? What about the alarm system situation? No, it's still not. That's, that's not? Okay. Um, that would be, again, PB-145. Yeah. Okay. That's the name of the name of the Well, we'll just... That's a nice piece of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and they've done a lot. Yeah. Bro's a little bit of a company vendor. B-R-O-D-S. B-R-O-D-S. Okay. So then that's pretty much the only item that's going in, at least this year. That's great. And that's, that's, so that's you know, we really want to focus on the planting and trying to 
Okay, so yeah, that's the only thing they'll be more inclined to. Yeah, yeah. As yeah. long as you have an extra, an extra word from Kevin that Update it's really, it's dummy. really, it's really getting worse and has to be addressed in X amount of time, then that's something like I have an opportunity to sit down with the city manager and with everybody else. It's a very long meeting. Um, bring those things up as to why that's currently critical. critical. Yeah, yeah. It, that's not that I, what I brought up was yeah. That's what I said last year was yeah. look, it, it's not failing, but it is. It is there are parts that absolutely should be addressed right now, yes. and eventually we will have failure. And yeah. This has to be done. Right, so. and it was heard. So. Okay, so right. with the that's important value and cost to to do that, would then be the 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 yes, the his suggested timeline oh, and, and urgency level of urgency, mm -hmm. and maybe if. Just coming directly from that um, expert, yeah. Yeah. Um, from a professional. Yes, yes. coming yeah. directly from that expert in, mm -hmm. in that field it would be helpful. Yeah. And then, depending on what's said, you know that we may want to look towards a different sort of grant. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, we can't yes. go right back to the state for that. But I mean, there's other opportunities out there maybe for yeah. next year. Yeah. Um, as we'll know in um, the end of August whether this particular one is approved or not. And I would say that. Okay. The city is definitely on board when you can cover half the cost or something. The city right. always is like, yeah, yeah. let's do that. Or exactly. Well, that works money all of a sudden appears. Yes. Yes. Give me 60 and I'll turn it into 240. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that turned out all right. And yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So then, then going through the, the rest of the list, not talking about CFP stuff, but. Um, what else is on here that we can get done with whatever budget and funding that we do have? And like, like that brass lamp on the wall yeah. is that being restored? Is it, yeah, I didn't think about this. I guess. Yeah, we've got a list of things that are ongoing. Kind of, we've got a PD one forty five um, that are taken from this list. You want to bring? You want to put that into next month? Yeah, yeah. great. What let's really let's, let's put it as an item, and we'll talk yeah. about things that we're planning on this Maybe year. Maybe that'll be old business. And then we can kind of hit. What you guys think are priorities? That would be helpful. Yeah. That'd be real helpful. So yes. let's do that. If you could month. just give us a list, but yes. that would be yeah. great. Tell us what you okay. what you've got on here. Yeah. Some of it is updated and says like okay. in the works, you know. Yeah, like, right. But we can write right. right. it. Okay, yeah. perfect. Right. That's excellent. Thank you. Anything else on that? Sure. Okay, moving on. Items from staff, Ben. Um, I don't have anything except to say that I think it's interesting to say. Park and Rec Advisory Board and then this one. And while they both can go long at times, yeah. um, we go through like you know, 15, 20 items. We had two items on the on the entire list. Wow. Park and Rec Advisory That's Board. Impressive. It was two hours and twenty minutes. Oh good. Only oh, two hours. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I take it back. Fourth of, oh, fourth of July. Fourth oh. of July. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. yeah. On uh, mm -hmm. Martin Street area and uh, uh, recreation fee increase. So those oh, really yeah, that's very a lot of discussion. Lots of passion right. and yeah, passion. So that's I like it. It's a lot of passion. <laughs> and a lot of times there's a lot of park items that are that sure. actually dominate those more than we used to. Sure. But this one was all over. <clears throat> wow. But it's interesting. So there's yeah, yeah. some insight. Yeah. I don't have any conclusion. All right. A um, couple quick things. The Santa Open House, we talked about four. Yeah, 4 to 7.30. Mm -hmm. um, we actually changed that to 3.30 to 7.30, so it's the same as last year. Okay. So that was kind of a little edit that got made to the timing of the Santa open house. Um, so it'll be 3.30 to 7.30. Okay. Um, and then just a quick follow-up on the cleaning projects that I mentioned last month. Um, the city was here every Saturday in February doing deep cleaning projects, uh, which is awesome. It kind of helps us get sort of reset uh, to then now, as of this week, we have a new custodian on board for Callahan House, so I'm really excited about. Yeah. Um, his name is Robert, and he's going to be here twice a week for four hours each, so eight hours nice. per week. And he had his first shift yesterday, and just the amount of kind of like initiative that he was taking and, and doing a lot of things that have not been regularly getting done for a while um i'm really excited about some oh, that's wonderful. good things good recommendation yeah so 
grateful to the bulb. He did. He changed the light bulbs, which oh. was really nice because yeah. I'm usually up there doing them. Right. As they go out in this room, they just go out constantly for whatever reason. But um, yeah, and he was high dusting and just doing a lot of great stuff. So excited to have somebody here. Um, and he's going to be dedicated to Callahan House, Sandstone, and somewhere else. Centennial Pool. Centennial Pool. Okay. Um, well, this is great. So yeah, yeah. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Just having someone help with that. And, yeah. 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 So. yeah, the city's down through a large change in how custodial is being done. Um, it's so good. Yeah, there there are some good ch and additional folks. This mm -hmm. year, it's actually just additional staff members, which we've asked for for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but the way we're going about things is a little bit different with the manager and custodial. There's pluses and minuses, um, but overall, um, that somebody spending time specifically trying to take care of that group as a whole is a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> They're more important than I am, that's for sure. That's all okay. I have Okay, any items from the board? I have a few items. Of course you do, Karen. <laughs> well, well I'll, I'll get to the, I'll save the best for last because okay. that's the historian's brief that we're going to do uh, monthly. Okay. Fun. Right. Um, but um, something that's kind of um, fun to to go to annually is the um, the Stephen H. Hart Awards Celebration for Historic Preservation, and it's at History Colorado. It will the 2024 celebration is going to be held April 16th from 5 to 8 p.m. at History Colorado down in Denver. So I plan to go to that again. I went last year, just is so fun to see all of the projects that they highlight from that, that have been recently completed. Um, uh, so, so if anyone's interested in, in going to that, um, you can look at History Colorado's website or call me or email and I'll send you the link or whatever. What, what's the name for that event? It is, it is called the 2020, it's the 2024. Stephen, S T E P H E N H, no initial, Hart, H A R T, okay. Awards Celebration for Historic Preservation. And they usually pick out um, four or five projects that History Colorado has funded and, um, and, and have come to completion. And they have Do we know who they're highlighting? I don't sure. know yet. I haven't looked in to see yet, but I I just saw but that. So they announced ahead of time. Yes, so we yeah. would know yeah. if we yeah. were oh, chosen. Yes, so, yeah. <laughs> right. they would reach out to you and say, "Hey, can we go ahead and highlight?" Okay. So yes, cool. but but I'm hoping that in future years that we yeah. can we can be because it's not just the ones they you know from the year prior, but yeah, cool. so they may they might be able to pull us in in, in the next year or something. <clears throat> cool. Um, but that also leads to the reason why I was asking to. Did we get the final report and conclusion and everything back to History Colorado? Because it includes you know, all of the things that we promised in the grant application process. Yeah. It's like, yes, we're going to show you. We're going to show you take before, during, and after pictures. We're going to provide all of this. You know, yeah, Carrie Sheehan was managing that project. The yeah. city facilities um, manager uh, completed that and sent it back to Anne, so they do have that. Good, because yeah. that's in part that's they. Pull from the their resources are yeah. What what can we yeah. show and highlight? Yeah, that got all submitted and finalized and closed out and so yeah. Did we get to see? Did we get to see the final report? Did the board get to see? I'm sure we could. Put together. Oh, I'm sure I haven't that. seen it. I mean, seeing. you know, even if it's just something sent out to the board and it's not a, a board <laughs> yeah. meeting agenda yeah. Yeah. thing, but it just something so they can see. Yeah, it would yeah. be nice. Sure. Um, so that's something that's coming up that's, that's kind of interesting and fun. Um, let me talk about the history brief. This is historian's brief. All right, everyone likes to talk about how Alice liked to drive and that, that she was, you know, a woman ahead of her time. However, sometimes I hear people say that um, she was a poor driver, she was a bad driver because she had uh, an accident. But I think it's really important that we just spell that myth and, and clarify that um, she actually was a very good driver. So 
there's a there's a piece of, of history from um, the Times Caller from the, the, the ledger at the time. Um, I'll, I can confirm which one it was, but they wrote an article in there saying, um, and, and I'll read it so you can hear it for yourself. The first, um, let's see. So the about this is about the Pierce Arrow uh, land lake. Yeah. So the first of the two that was purchased was was purchased in April of 1908, and this is quote out of the um, um, article. It's, it was a magnificent machine said to be the most expensive in Northern Colorado. One reporter with tongue in cheek said it was quote a cracker jacks a, a cracker jack and has all of the newfangled dingbats for climbing trees and jumping irrigation ditches. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that that said, a few months later, after the April 1908, uh, Alice took six of her friends for a drive. As she turned the corner from the Marshall Farm Road onto Main Street, a wheel struck the curb and the car overturned. Due to the heavy weight of the vehicle, no one was seriously injured, and even the car suffered damage only to the limousine top and the wheel that caused the accident. Um, and then later, later that summer is when Tom replaced that one with a brand new one, exact duplicate um, of the damaged one. So just a few months later, he replaced her car. But just so you all know, don't let anyone say that she was a poor driver. That's not the case at all. It was a simple accident, and that's how it happened, and that's where it happened. And mm -hmm. um, there was never any other uh, article or, or any piece of history that says she had any other accident. <laughs> so think about the road that she was driving Think about, driving exactly, yeah. think about the road that she was driving on. Think it, about, it was a very tiny little mistake, but it had yes. a big consequence that yes. made everybody right. focus yes. on it. Yeah. So, just something to be very aware of. That's really, that's really interesting for history to enjoy that part. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, moving on to future agenda items. I do have oh, things oh, to mention. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, one of them, across the street here, the house that was renovated a few years ago, mm -hmm. she has it open on the weekends. You can go through there. Oh. Anybody been in there yet? Yes, that's and fun. it's awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I went this weekend. It was oh, did gosh. you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Full. It's like a the big market on market. steroids. <laughs> 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 steroids. I mean, yeah. unbelievable. But yeah. just to it's see the house is. itself is awesome. Yeah, it is a phenomenal too. place. Got a nice study set and copy of the Silmarillion. I was really excited about. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But she's gonna do bed and breakfast during the summer. Yeah, but oh, that's so she packs right. all this stuff up and puts it somewhere. What? I don't know where, but She's a place else. to go visit. For sure. I actually got some oh, cards from her to give to clients that might be interested in having, you know, a wedding here and then staying. Cause I think it sleeps like 12 or 14 yeah. hours. Yeah. No kidding. Um, wow. So and yeah. then speaking of weddings, there was a photograph upstairs of a couple out by the fountain. And the fountain, you could tell, was really pretty new because it was really white and pristine. I said that. And, and I think it was like early 70s, maybe. Like no it. name on the photograph. It's about oh. this big. But could it be used in some way with the the e blasts that we send out? Who is this mystery couple? Or use it in connection with your wedding advertisements or whatever, and see if somebody can come forward and identify who this yeah. mystery couple is. That's a nice so, idea. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of a fun like little thing. Yeah, so. I like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Is there any? Concern about putting out a photo without oh people permission. without their permission yeah yeah, could be, yeah. 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 Check yeah. Well, yeah. that's that's how you find out who they are right, right. In this case, probably not. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's been used yeah it's been used. <laughs> you tell us now that you've all seen it can you it tell us who they are so we can right. get their permission exactly yes. there you go <laughs> I was going to say if it's been used somewhere before then the permissions have been given and it's just you know, it's just sharing of it something that's be already been published. It's already been posted in public here. So if it's already been posted in public, then... I've never seen it. Anyway, just confirm as well. Okay. I, I would say that. Yeah, confirm as well. Yeah. That's all. I forgot. I, when I said I had three things and, and, and I, I forgot about the best, the, 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 the really fun last one. Cindy, would you mind? Or thank you. Oh. I, um, this was nice. Um, Brittany just gave this to me this morning. It um, came from EDK, and it's a thank you 
um, for the presentation at the PEO annual Founders Day meeting. Um, and uh, basically, she just wanted to thank us for a wonderful program um, and such great information and history lesson uh, to receive. And it feels good to know about an asset that we have here in Longmont. So that was um, a beautiful thank you card. And in it, they included a very nice donation, a $100 donation. Oh, very nice. So um, to the Callahan House, which, which is such, which very just nice. a beautiful thank you. So I wanted to acknowledge that too. That was the third thing that I. Thank thought. you. Yes. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. OK, anybody else? Next item is future agenda items. May we add uh, selecting a date for the end past and present board members team just onto a future oh, um, yeah. agenda item that we need to do that. Absolutely. Brittany's got it. So Select a date for what? The annual post past and present board members team. For the annual team that we do fall date again. I think that might work best. Yeah, yeah. So it works nicely like it because well. um, yeah, then we can capture the activity from the year. And we can share that with everyone at that time. Right. Cool. Anything else? Okay, we'll entertain adjournment. Let's see, check that out. What time is it? 10 32. 10 32. Okay. Move, please. I second. Can I do that? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Well, I'll be non traditional. Anybody can. Technically, right. yes. Yeah, not traditional, yes, but technically, yes. Yeah, on a vote. Anybody want to disagree? <laughs> We're all in agreement. Well, thank you. 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 Thank you.